Live wallpapers, there's just so many of them out there, it's hard to know which one to choose. Is there such a thing as a DIY live wallpaper? Something that you can do yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own live wallpaper using GIFs and an application called AnimGIF2. It's actually much easier than it sounds. Let's take a look. Right, so step one. The first thing we need to do is find our GIFs. If we want to give our phone some style, we should choose some GIFs that have some flair. I'm going to use Mr. GIFs Tumblr. There's an amazing selection here. It's got some amazing work and I think you should check them out. A link will be in the description. So once we find a GIF that we like, we can just simply right click and click save as and then save it to a file location that we know well. So I'm just going to label this my color screen GIFs and this folder will house all the GIFs that we like to use on our phone later. So we simply just connect our phone via USB storage. If your phone has an SD card, it's better to put it inside the root of the SD card storage. So we just simply drag this entire folder, copy it into the root of the SD card, and it shouldn't take that long because GIFs are usually uh, a few kilobytes to a couple of megabytes in size. So once this is done, we can just simply download AnimGIF Live Wallpaper 2 from the marketplace. All you have to do is just type in that name and download it and it should be free. All there is is just a little watermark on the bottom right hand corner. And we can just select uh, this application from the Live Wallpaper menu. And then go into settings. And the first thing you want to do is go and select our GIF files. Now we have to browse for our file location, which is going to be in the root of the SD card as we described earlier. So by default it's actually called external SD card on the Galaxy Note 2. Your phone may differ but uh, it should be similar. And there's our folder. So we can either select one by one but if you just want to select all of them there's an option to do so on the bottom of the screen. And we just click use selected to enter the, our preference. So we can uh, choose the cycle interval, which means how often the GIFs change. We can go anywhere from instantly to 24 hours, which is uh, a welcome selection of choice. And you can play by alphabetical order or shuffle. We're going to just choose shuffle. And uh, we can choose our speed we want the GIF to play at, anywhere from uh, 0.1 times all the way to 10 times. It's recommended that you use quality resize, but don't worry about quality drag resize. And for the fit, we just want to use best fit, which is the default. And this just gives you a fuller picture, no matter what orientation your phone is rotated in. So all we have to do is set the wallpaper, and uh, that's pretty much it. So now you'll be able to see that we have our GIFs playing in the background. And it takes a second just to buffer up, but once it has, then uh, the GIFs will play automatically. So it's pretty cool, like you can see that uh, there's uh, no slowdown when moving in between menus. So it doesn't actually take too much processing to uh, get all this done. But you can see that it looks uh, great and uh, hopefully uh, it changes the look of your phone and you can put any GIFs you want there if you want some stylish ones or just some funny GIFs or something that you just uh, saw online. It's easy and you can just put it inside your folder and have it randomly play. So hopefully you learned something interesting from that and that's how to make a customized wallpaper for your needs and personalized to your tastes. So don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again for another video. Thanks for watching.